Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, October 4th, 2016. The Tarot card for today is the Five of Cups. Now, you know, I have to tell you, we're only two days away from Mercury leaving Shadow. And that really is going to close out this first nine months of the year that were so difficult. You know, that moment where you're just free from it all. And, you know, even though this is a creepy looking card, I know it's October and everything's Halloween themed. But, you know, I do like the way it looks because it's as though the guy is tossing all of these cups into the air. You know, what was lost and what do you keep? Hmm. It's that time. You know, I've been talking about it. Yesterday I spoke about, you know, the hermit and, you know, needing the time to make not just decisions. The decisions are coming up soon. But the thought, what do you want to do? We're talking about entering a new phase here. And what do you want to do with the rest of your life? Really, that's what it's about. So this is a card of you know, focus as well. Very often, you know, the person depicted on the card is looking at those spilled cups and what's lost, whether it was a relationship or something else that they valued dearly. But it's done, okay? So whatever it was, you know, the object of the card is to turn your focus to where you need to be, to not just what is left, but to what awaits you. All of the positive things that are there available to you. Because it's like, it's okay. There's more. And there's so much more to discover. Because really right now, you are only at the beginning. And you're going to encounter many changes along the way. Will there be any stress? Maybe. But not like you've had before in the past. So you'll be able to deal with it better. But this is that moment, you know, where like you just kind of chuck it all in the air, just like the guy on the card and say, OK, I'm you know, I'm really done with that. I don't wish to focus on it anymore. There are endings that are coming about, things that are happening. Like I said, decisions that are coming up that need to be made that put you off to where you need to be. You have been guided by the universe to this point. And I really think that the period of mourning all that's been left behind is, is pretty much done, you know, because the new part is coming. And I'm telling you, it's like it, it started creeping in with the new moon last week in Libra. And we're done with eclipse season. We're done with Mercury retrograde. Clear that shadow in two more days and go forth. This is... A big moment in your timeline but I don't think it's being played up as big because it's like all of a sudden you realize you have options and your options are not to be standing there crying over what is gone you know I'm contacted by many many people every day to do personal readings etc and quite often you know that mire you know that you feel stuck in where you're unsure of which way to go and you know that's where I you know like I come in with the guidance one of the things that I've been seeing for a lot of people that it, it's time for a shift in other words and I say this to no matter the age you're never too old to learn new things so those two cups that are always left there for you to check out that contain all of the positive emotions that you need. Yeah, there's a lot there. there. This new phase that you're entering is one that I feel many of you will be learning new things. New things and new ways, you know, where you change up your routine. That's one of the big things, is that when everybody kind of gets stuck and they're mourning that loss and the way life was, they need to get on track. This is like that time, that moment in time. Turn your focus, get on the new track, and prepare to move forward because the time is coming to do that. So I want to thank you all for listening, and I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.